Hello, welcome to previous tutor. This is my five minutes exam revision, and I have this question in physics on a pulley system. How I'm going to answer it? A. There's local study. There's effort. There's 20 kg here. There's four meters there. Four meters is the distance moved by the load. So what we are saying here is the load, all right? And the load has moved four meters, and the load is 20 kg, and there are three these th uh, three wheels. We don't have the effort. A says what? State the velocity ratio of the pulley system. Now, what is the velocity ratio? The loss ratio is just the ratio of the distance moved by the effort to the distance moved by the load. Now, in this case, we don't have distance moved by the effort. How do you find the uh, velocity ratio? And I give it like this. You count the number of wheels. How many wheels are here? There are three. So our velocity ratio is equal to three. Don't put units. It's a ratio, so it has got no units. B, calculate the distance moved by the effort. How can you calculate the distance moved by the effort? Remember we said the velocity ratio is equal to distance moved by the effort over the distance moved by the load. So distance mo moved by the effort is what we are looking for. But we know that the velocity ratio is 3 equal to uh, distance moved by the effort we don't have. Distance moved by the load is 4. So in a cross multiply, DE, which is distance moved by the effort, will be equal to 12 meters. Simple as that. C, given that the efficiency of the pulley system is 60%, calculate the mechanical advantage. Now, we know that efficiency is equal to uh, mechanical advantage over velocity ratio times what? 100%. We need to know that mechanical advantage is always less than velocity ratio. Why? We'll discuss that later. So, we have our efficiency here is 60 over 100%. Remember, it's 60%. Equal to mechanical advantage we don't have. Loss ratio we have is 3. Don't put your 100 again. You've already, like you've already put it here. And what do you do? You cross multiply. This will be MA 100, right? Is equal to 3 times 60 getting 0, 180. Then divide by 100 this side. Divide by 100 this side. You cancel. So your mechanical advantage is equal to there and there you cancel 18 divided by 10 you get 1.8 don't put units so so a ratio like i said mechanical advantage is always less than velocity ratio so you can see saying explain why the efficiency of the uh, system is not 100 the efficiency of the system is not 100 for these ones one uh, uh because of friction that's one of the them because of friction all right because of heat All right, and because of what? Because of sound. And that was our five minutes exam revision. I'll see you in the next video.